This is WDSU News at 10. And for people to come and, and put a, a total misrepresentation of facts out like that is really annoying. A government report on how much oil remains in the Gulf is raising some eyebrows across the Gulf Coast. Government scientists say 172 million gallons of oil leaked into the Gulf while the well was leaking. Those same scientists also claim three quarters of that oil is gone, but some aren't buying it. Picking up BP oil, huh? George Barisic is a shrimp fisherman and oyster farmer. He says the government study is misleading, and just because you can't see the oil doesn't mean it's gone. I'm getting reports from fishermen in Mississippi. Their reefs are dead. They got black oil everywhere. Off of Grand Isle, there's black, black stuff on the bottom. They're not looking for it. You know, if, you, if you're not looking for it, you're never going to find it. The study says 74% of the oil is gone, with more than 40% either evaporating or dissolving naturally. About 17% was collected directly at the wellhead through a siphoning system. 16% of the oil was burned, skimmed, or dissolved using dispersants. But that leaves 26% of the oil still somewhere out in the Gulf. And then there is the residual. It doesn't mean uh, it's all still out there. Some of it's already come ashore. It's been cleaned up. Uh, some of it may continue to come ashore. In the, term, in the form of tar balls and will have to be cleaned up. Um, Dr. Michael Blum at Tulane University one. says the evaporation or dissipation numbers don't add up. That's the thing that nobody can really address effectively. And what we need to do is really get an answer on whether or not that's an accurate estimate. If it's not, we're talking about 50%, 60% of the oil still in the environment. Blum says while oil does evaporate, once it becomes weathered, it is more concentrated and less likely to evaporate. He believes people may see oil in the Gulf for years. When, when they make blanket statements like that, the public perception is that, hey, it's okay. What these fishermen complaining about? There's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the problem. The report's authors are scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the U.S. Geological Survey.